All right, everyone. So right now you're working on the centripetal force lab, and you had the demonstration of me in class, and uh, you may have seen the video that I, I shared with you guys to watch on YouTube. Uh, you got the glass tube with tape on it. You got the stopper spinning around in a circle, horizontal to the you know parallel to the ground, and horizontal up here. Uh, you got the tag, the flag that does not move um, vertically, and the hanging mass. So that's what's going on here. Uh, things you're going to record. You need to record, make sure you're recording the time of 30 laps. You're going to need to get the time of the time of 30 laps. You need radius. You need the mass of the stopper. You need the hanging mass which of course you will vary. Um, probably going to look at about five different hanging masses. Um, understanding that when you get really heavy and you get really light, it gets more difficult. So you'll have to experiment. And if you get a set of trials, it's just you either have to spin it way too fast to be able to count it, or you have to go way so slow that it's almost not working. You have to maybe pick a different interval in the middle there. So radius, stopper mass, hanging mass, Time of the lapse, yeah, that's the uh, that's the data you're going to gather. Now, when it comes to measuring your radius, it's going to be way easier for you to set the, the apparatus on the table, put the flag where it's going to be, and put your meter stick down like this. Here's your meter stick. Zip, there's the meter stick. And just lay the meter stick down on the table next to it, you know, measure it out. And you want to go to uh, the center of the stopper is where your radius goes to okay that's your radius and of course we're going to be working in meters and seconds and kilograms um, when you go to mass the stopper when you go to mass your stopper what you want to do when you mass that is you really want it to be um, that's weird you really want the stopper to just be sitting on the on the balance and uh, have maybe the the rope there don't you know mass everything in the world just mass the stopper we can almost consider the the, the mass of the string in the middle of it you know from the stopper down to the hanging mass to be insignificant um, in the activity so those are the things you're going to record then you're going to have your data it's going to look like this you're going to have a time for your 30 laps that's something you recorded in blue you're going to have the mass of your stopper. I uh, The stopper I have here at the house, I actually did a little um, run here at the house. I, I have a stopper. I used a pen tube and some string, and, and I used um, some nuts that I have to make masses. And uh, what you have here is you got your hand. Your, my, my stopper was about, 50, was about 50 grams, so I put this in. My radius was 52 uh, centimeters, so 0.52 meters. And so I recorded my 30 laps, I recorded my stopper mass, I recorded my radius, I also recorded my hanging mass, which I then turned into a force of gravity, because let's face it, we're studying forces here. Now, when you got this stuff, you want to take your 30 lap time and divide it by 30 to get the period. Now, we're talking about circular motion, period means one lap, so 30 laps divided by 30. You got the stopper, VT squared, or VT. Tangential velocity is very important for the lab. So the whole reason we are taking times is to figure out tangential velocity. The radius also plays into tangential velocity here. To get that, you need to take the circumference of your circle divided by your period, so one lap. Remember, you know, I, I'm going to trust you to figure out circumference. You're big kids, so you can do that. Then you got VT. Then you got VT. We learned centripetal force is mass times VT squared over R. So we're going to set that one up here as a formula. Equals, I'm going to use a parenthesis here, uh, parenthesis, the stopper mass, because that is what's going in a circle, times VT squared. So I'm going to go parenthesis VT squared. Close my parenthesis. Close the other parenthesis. Over R. 
dinner. And uh, how about that? I'm really good at what I do. Um, so then I'm just going to distribute my formula down, and bam, I uh, have glorious looking data that was not at all manufactured. Now, so that's what you're going to do. This is the hay mass, that's the force of gravity. We would hope that this and this come out the same. Uh, my percent error would be zero because I'm perfect. Uh, but but yours will probably be a larger number than zero when you're figuring it out. All right, that's that's what I have for you. If you need to see this video on your own, it is on my website, um, Mr. Wolf Physics uh, website. There, go to uh, Grip of Wizard and get to it. All right, good luck.